Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 16 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course and finally guys we are transitioning from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. So let's actually convert a project first of all so it's much much simpler than you would actually think. So just open up Unreal Engine 5. I'm using 5.0.1 here. Open that up and select your project in our case it's going to be FPS course and click on open and it is going to ask you whether you want to create a copy or not I guess there is an option as well to convert in place but I always suggest uh, creating a copy first because in case something goes wrong you would be able to still use the old project but if you do just convert it in place you cannot go back so open a copy alright guys so it says compile failed but that's nothing to worry about now we can fix all the issues so first thing that you want to do is head into the github page of steam bridge and over here under the develop branch open it up and what you want to do is you want to download this as a zip again and once you download it and once you extract the zip grab in the folder that you have so I'll actually do that so once you open this up so you would have this folder which you want to extract and you want to copy over this folder this one the one inside copy it over and head back into your fps course directory under fps course 5.0 head into plugins delete the old steam bridge and paste this one in Alright guys, so now what you want to do is you want to head into each of these plugin folders and as I have done here for example in async func caller so what I've done is I've changed the engine version to 5.0 do the same for uh, the rest of the plugins now once you open this up right click and click on build then we can see what errors we have now that it is built now there are a bunch of things there are a bunch of warnings which uh, we will look into a bit later but first of all let's look into the errors so open this up and I think there's a different function called mark as garbage which you need to use so mark as garbage and and game port this is something where the name game port is actually conflicting now since this is a dummy name anyways so you could just type in game underscore port and change this one to game underscore port here as well all right so now we can try building that once again okay guys so now we can go ahead and uh, fix some of these warnings so just double click on this so as we can see there are a couple of places where the same warning is repeated so head into edit find and replace uh, quick replace and wherever you see platform data what you do is you type get platform not sure if that's caps data with the brackets over there and hit enter hit enter once again hit enter once again and that should be it so now if we try to build it so there is one more place where we haven't set it so here as well just type in get platform data and uh, put in the brackets here and that should be it click on build okay guys so and another warning so head into this one here and over here just add in ts so we inherited from a different class build it now so we have a bunch of warnings again so open this up and over here now since we are developing it for windows anyway so what we can do is we can remove everything else and have only win64 and try to build it again Alright guys, so one final thing that I want you guys to do is right click and uh, click on generate visual studio project files over here on the U project file. Once that's done, all of your directories and stuff will be refreshed inside. So head into your .sln file which I've already opened 
and over here under plugins I want you guys to come under steam bridge develop source under steam bridge and public want you guys to head into core steam user dot h and this is a change that we had done previously so search for the login function so here what we want to do is we want to actually change this function a little bit as we had done last time so we want to return false if steam user is not valid so first of all we'll do a simple if check so if steam user so if steam user is valid we are going to return this value right here so let's just uh, backspace that but otherwise if steam user is not valid let me just indent that properly and if steam user is not valid what we want to do is we want to just return false otherwise this actually causes an error so now we can save that and you can right click and click on build now we could just ignore that for now and I think that should be about it now press F5 on your keyboard to launch a local windows debugger basically your editor now what I want you guys to do is first of all open up steam as I did and as well as I want you guys to open up your uh, BP game instance because there are a couple of errors that we need to fix right here so uh, since we changed the steam bridge version so these callbacks need to be replaced so that's a very simple thing to do so on lobby game created so just replace it with that so we can keep this event so this one is going to go in here and we can replace this all right and now we want to bind on lobby enter and we want this delegate to go in here and change the execution pins as well and even for lobby game created so on lobby game created or rather it's on lobby created on lobby created so we can grab in the delegate once again and just keep that neat so now if you go ahead and compile there are a few other things so chat message we can drag this delegate in here grab the execution pin as well and finally do the same thing for the invite callback so grab in matchmaking and invite received so bind event to on lobby invite drag in the delegate and now technically everything should compile properly and now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to play this as a standalone game to test it out okay guys so apart from a couple of UI glitches which we will try to fix some other time as you can see all of our steam code is successfully transported over to unreal engine 5 we can ready up we can unready and everything works as expected so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and for again for any questions or suggestions make sure you guys do leave them on my discord server link is down in the video description and i'll see you guys next time goodbye